Okay, so I think we should go through the magenta door with Luna. I think we'll pair up with Luna and head through the magenta door. Are you guys good with that? Oh my god, you ass. I can't see how this could possibly go badly. Shut up. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and you'll pull your head out of your ass. What did you just say? Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight, seven. We need to hurry. All right, guys. Let's get moving. What is this place? Didn't you see the door? It said this is the lounge. Lounge? Does that mean there's somebody living here? There doesn't seem to be much dust. Maybe there is. Hmm. So you've got a well-used lounge right next to a big empty warehouse. What is this building for? Opposite it, and two more on the left and right. The two on the sides are covered with metal plates, though. Don't think we'll be opening them anytime soon. I guess that just leaves us one option. No good. This one's locked, too. I didn't see any other doors in the hallway we came through. Maybe we can find one of the keys to the AB room in here somewhere. Well, it's not going to find itself. Let's go. All right, now we're in escape mood. Okay, let's look around. So there's the safe. This is here. Northern Hemi Hemisphere. Is this a model of the Earth? This looks like North America. It looks like someone took the Northern Hemisphere and chopped it in half. Why don't we just call it the Northern Hemi Hemisphere? No. No. It's terrible. Huh. There's something behind this cushion. An old-fashioned leather sofa. Is this a magazine? What is it about? Looks like astronomy. You have found an astronomy magazine. You can review it in the archive. Let's out what else is here. A red leather cushion. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Achoo! Hey, come on. That was a real sneeze. It was dusty. Okay. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Let's see here. A 
Okay. A magazine about, of all things, astronomy. This issue appears to be about lunar eclipses. This article says, a lengthy lunar eclipse will occur at 4.50 p.m. I don't know what that means. On December 31st, 2028. In other words, at 4.50 p.m., you can see a total lunar eclipse. Wait a minute, 4.50 p.m.? That's it? So, 4.50 p.m. This thing looks weird. Is it supposed to be the sun or something? There are 12 words on it. They're arranged kind of like the spokes on a wheel. Let's see here. Red, white, blue, island, green, moon, black, ocean, yellow, earth, sun, planet. Huh. Don't know what that means. What's this here? What's this thing? Some kind of sink? Ah, oh, clever. If you get wasted, you can just puke into here. That's not what it's for. There's an icon on the counter above it. Huh? I guess it's a drain. You pour leftover drinks down it. This is fairly common in, like, fast food restaurants. The countertop. Okay, thank you. Uh, I see some drinks here. The bar counter. You know, I was in a bar this one time. What are you, some kind of bar contour? Ugh. Oh, come on, that one was genius. Okay. I think, was, she, was it a pun on bar counter? Okay, two needles. They're long, thin, pointy pieces of metal. Are they needles of some kind? Why are there two of them? Oh. A glass. Do you think it could be a cocktail glass? There's nothing in it. What? Oh, <laughs> that's just the Northern Hemisphere. Okay. Well. Okay. A counter. I wonder what this screen is for. It doesn't look like it's turned on. Can you see a switch? No, nothing. Any comments about the drinks here? I see some sake. Maybe we can get closer to the drinks. There we go. Southern Hemi Hemisphere. This looks like the southern tip of South America. Do you think this is a model of the Earth? I think this is half of the Southern Hemisphere. I suppose we could call this the Southern Hemi Hemisphere, for now at least. You guys are terrible at this. There are a lot of bottles here. Is that Jack Daniels? That looks like it's supposed to be Jack Daniels. The logo at least. How do you like to have a drink with me? Huh? Oh, um... You really think this is a good time to be making a pass at someone? She's getting all nervous now. <laughs> oh wait, look. Ocean. These are the, uh, island alcohol. I wonder if it comes from an island. Oh, how interesting. Don't drink it. Sun alcohol, huh? Maybe that means the alcohol content is so high it'll burst into flame and sunlight. It looks good. Don't drink it. Alcohol of the moon? 
It makes me think of Japanese sake for some reason. It makes me think of moonshine. <laughs> it also makes me want to drink it. Don't drink it. I wonder what ocean alcohol would taste like. Salty, maybe. I hope it's not salty. Hmm. Now I want to try it. Don't drink it. These are all for me. Planet alcohol. That's a pretty weird name. Mm. But with our powers combined. <laughs> Don't drink it. <laughs> I doubt, I think that's a localization. I have no idea if uh, J Japan is aware, familiar enough with Captain America. No, Captain Planet. I'm sorry, Captain Planet. They are familiar with Captain America, though. This liqueur is blue. I think it matches you, Sigma. Why is that? Well, you're wearing blue. That's pretty straightforward. So imagination you got there. A green one. You know, my favorite color is green. Just looking at it makes me feel happy and calm. Well, you can probably feel that way by drinking it too. This one is white. White always makes me think of wedding dresses. I'd like to wear one someday. That means you're single, right? I your face is scaring me. Uh, Sigma, you got a thing for her? That's a really bright yellow. Some animals use yellow as a warning to predators, so maybe this is a warning to us to stay alert. Sure, why not? Anything is possible in this crazy world? What a powerful shade of red. It feels so passionate. Maybe this would be good for trying to woo a girl. Wanna try some, Luna? Hey, I see what you're trying to do. Hey, I'm trying to help her woo a girl. That's what I'm trying to do. Hopefully, you know, keep it consensual. Damn it, I, I didn't think about that. A bunch of bottles of alcohol. Okay. Oh, wait, I see more hemispheres. Mysterious disc. What's this thing, some kind of top? It's got these cones in the center. Yes. But look at the edges. It looks like part of a map. Could this be part of the Earth? Okay. And... Northern Hemi Hemisphere, okay. This looks like a model of the Earth. Or at least part of one. This has Eurasia on it. It's like someone sliced the Northern Hemisphere in half. I guess we can call it the Northern Hemi Hemisphere for now. Okay. I want to see if we can find one more. Aha! There you are. Part of a model of the Earth. It's got the southern end of Africa and all of Australia. Half of the southern hemisphere. I guess that would make this the southern hemi hemisphere. What's this? A note? It looks like a page from a journal. You have found a fragment of a bartender's diary. Yay me. Three customers came in today, a couple and their son. The father sat in the center with the mother on the left and the son on the right. When I came to take their order, they said the following. My wife likes the color red and I like white. My son has always liked ocean. My son has loved the color blue ever since he was a child. My husband likes island, and I like planet. My mother and I like moon. My father likes anything green. One of them was a liar, but I swiftly made their drinks and handed them over.
Hmm. Damn it. I don't like these. Figure out who's the liar. So she likes planet and red. Oh. Hold on a minute here. Okay. So. How can we? Hold on. It's because this is a Japanese um, PSTV, I have to use the Japanese controls when I go into the touch screen, but I use the American controls in the actual game. This isn't working. I guess I can't combine the disc in a single hemisphere. Hemi hemisphere. Okay, so what about... Most of the Southern Hemisphere. Okay. Combine. No. All right, and we combine that. Use it here. Oh, I get it. The completed globe goes here. Yeah, just like this. Perfect. Is it perfect? This is a globe. True, true enough. Okay. What's this? Okay, look at this. I'll take that away. Okay. What the hell is this? A helmet? How on earth does this look like a helmet? Well, if it's not a helmet, what is it? Maybe it's a bread maker or one of those automatic cat feeders. I thought you've been in a bar before, Sigma. What? Okay. So, not clearly, so, let me see, planet, island, sun, moon, ocean. This one's going to be kind of a pain. Okay, my wife likes the color red, and I like white. My son has always liked ocean. What color was planet? Okay, so sun is red. Moon is yellow. Planet is blue. It looks like a clock, but it doesn't have any hands. Do you think those needles you found might go on there? 
Let's see. There we go. Well, I put the hands on the clock, but nothing's happening. What if you move them? Move them where? I don't know. Experiment? All right, let's give it a try then. Move the hand to a specific time, then press the check button. Okay. So red and black. Failed. So I think it's the sun that's lying. At the same time, island and green goes together. And only one of them is lying. Damn, no dice. I can't figure it out. I'm guessing I need to move them to a particular time, but... Wait, 450! Sun and green. Okay. How about 450? That puts the shorthand at green and the longhand at sun. A green sun. What? Whoa. There's a beam of light coming out of the center of the clock. That's pretty impressive. Okay. Oh. Blue planet and red moon. It's a globe. Look, some letters appeared on it. They say Blue Planet. It looks like the globe is refracting the light from the clock. Yes, into five different rays of light. Only the one in the middle is red, though. 
What the hell does that mean? I think it's supposed to represent a total lunar eclipse. What? Don't you know what that is? During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely covered by the Earth's shadow. That doesn't mean the moon just disappears or turns black, though. It actually reflects light that's passed through the Earth's atmosphere. That this makes it appear to be red. Essentially, what's happening is that the moon is reflecting the sunset. So that red circle of light is supposed to be a total lunar eclipse. Isn't that what I just said? So it's red moon, blue planet. Okay. And... My wife likes the color red. And I like... So blue planet... So is it the wife that's lying? One of them was a liar, but I swiftly made their drinks and handed them over. What did this say again? Green sun. I'm just going to mix the drinks as I see them. So we have... Combine with green sun. Okay, cancel. Okay. It looks like you can insert bottles of alcohol into this machine. I've inserted them. The cocktail glass I just set down. It's empty. No. Mm. And dispense. The glass is full of liquid now. It looks like we've made a cocktail. Okay, I'm going to take that. Green sun. Okay. Uh, no. Ah! I keep having to... <laughs> I can't get this right because I have, keep having to uh, go back and forth. So red moon. And then here. Okay, I get it, I get it. This game wasn't really made for the uh, PlayStation TV. All right, Red Moon. Blue planet. Okay. And oh 
my god. Blue planet. All right. So I think we got it. Let's go back here. Huh. Hey, this thing lit up. It looks like it's made to light up when you put a cocktail on it. Let's try putting something on the other coasters. Go. Hey, good job. All the coasters are green. Green means I got it right, right? I think so. Look, something happened on the screen. Okay, we got the code. Oh, I saw something like this before. You too? Yes. There was one in your AB room? There was one in your AB room? Yeah, I think so. It opened a safe back then. We should write this down somewhere. No, it's cool. I can remember it. You're going to memorize it? Sure, no sweat. I've got a pretty good memory. All right. Again, zero idea how to find the other kind of files. This safe is just like the one I saw in the AB room. Yeah, Sigma and I saw one just like it. So do you think it opens the same way? Try it and find out. All right. Oops. Believe it was star. No. Failed. There we go. Awesome. It opened. Good job, Sigma. Hmm. Well done. Thank you. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see. First, we've got a map. It says floor A in the corner. Yeah. We can take a close look at it later. There's still more stuff in there. Why don't you get the rest of it first? Right. Next, we've got a card. Two cards, actually. Do you think these could be the key cards for the AB rooms? See? It says Ambidex room right on them. Yeah, you're probably right. Now we can get into the AB rooms. And that means we can start getting more bracelet points. Once we've got nine, then we can open the door number nine door and get out of here. At least, that's what that rabbit said. Yeah. But how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? That's where all the AB rooms are. We can go back the way we came, but that door's locked. I think the answer to that is in the safe. See? Read this note. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I care even I care to keep you from going in and out of them. Any color of bracelet can go through them, and as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you go back until you've solved the puzzle. I see. So in other words... Once we get out of here, we can get back to the warehouse. Right? Yeah, seems like it. So that means this key here is the last piece of the puzzle. 
Alright. You did it! That key is just what we need. Now we can get out! Now we can get out! Thing that keeps the door locked. It says lock. Okay, I'm gonna put the key in. You ready? I keep telling you, you don't have to ask every single... I'm not asking you. I'm asking Luna. Oh. I'm... Um... I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yay, we did it! Another elevator, huh? Do you think it works? Dunno. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, someone's coming. Looks like Alice Clover K. And Dio Quark and Tenmyoji. <sighs> What's going on here? We ran into them a little bit ago. Well, not literally, of course. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. Let me see the map. Oh, sure. Ah, I get it. All three routes end up here. Infirmary? Oh, we found a map like that too. Ours was in the crew quarters. That's so. We found ours in the lounge. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Mock, huh? Yeah, won't budge. Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Numbers? Oh yeah, the time left. Looks like two hours, six minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're going to have to just sit around here for another two hours? Looks like we don't have a choice then. We got to head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? 
did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. It was in a safe in the lounge. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I care to keep you from going in and out of them. Any color of bracelet can go through them and as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you go back until you've solved the puzzle. If that's true, then we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key. We found some too. That makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. My fucking god, I don't like this character. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. I'm going. Can I adjust myself here? So, this is the lounge. It would seem Zero's notes were telling the truth. Getting back here was easy enough. That means we could all go visit the infirmary too. Or the crew quarters. Hey, Grandpa, check this out. Some of your favorite scotch. Oh. -ho. Uh, tempting, but I don't really think now is the time. Oh, so uh, is he actually his grandson? Well, hold on. Grandpa? Since when were they buddies? Or had they always been that close? In other words, they'd known each other before the nonary game. And if Quirk was calling Tenyoji Grandpa, maybe they were even related. He even knows his favorite scotch. Did he not talk about that, too? Alice and Clover seem to be close, too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Let's go, buddy. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? Oat? But are are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals though. 